watching out for you. A Fox 5 I-Team investigation. Tonight, an exclusive I-Team investigation with new revelations in the Bishop Eddie Long settlement and shakeup of one side's legal team. Lawyers for three men who sued him told their clients they're stepping down. Their concern is a potential conflict of interest since Bishop Long's attorneys have now filed a demand to recover damages in this case. Senior I-Team reporter Del Russell has more. When the Bishop Long case was resolved, the parties involved signed a confidentiality agreement. Now Bishop Long contends three of the young men have violated it. And the lawyers for those men have told them they have to step down. I am telling you, these are, these are very powerful, brutal allegations that are true. For a year now, B.J. Bernstein has steered one of the highest profile and most controversial lawsuits in Georgia, the sexual misconduct lawsuits against Bishop Eddie Long. What's going to happen? Can't talk right now. Now, B.J. Bernstein and her co-counsel, Catherine Hernecki and Jay Sad, have informed their clients that they have a potential conflict of interest and are withdrawing from the case. The events that led to the withdrawal began in August in Miami and on the Internet. According to sources familiar with the case, Bishop Long's attorneys notified the American Arbitration Association that they were seeking to recover not less than $900,000, an injunction and a finding of contempt of court against Jamal Paris, Spencer Legrand, and Centino Kemp for allegedly violating their settlement agreement with Bishop Long. Man, I ain't no drug dealer. I ain't never said I was, never been. We talked to Jamal Paris and Spencer Legrand back in August about Paris's recent plea to drug charges in Miami, in which he got probation, and their plans for the future. From this point on, no matter what happens, left or right, which way I walk, I mean, it's going to be the right way. You know, God, God walks with me. But the two never discussed Bishop Long or the secret settlement. This is who I am, Centino. The I-Team was also first to tell you about a fifth young man, Centino Kemp, who never joined the lawsuit but took part in the settlement with Bishop Long. We wanted to ask you about Bishop Eddie Long. Oh. Oh, no comment. Come on. Can we just talk to you for a second? But our sources say Bishop Long's attorneys are now demanding arbitration. The reason? They contend the three men have intentionally violated the settlement agreement in other media interviews and on Twitter. Long's attorneys argued that Jamal Paris and Spencer Legrand violated their agreement when they did an interview discussing the case with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and WSB-TV, interviews that reappeared on CNN. Long's attorney say Centino Kemp violated his agreement on Twitter. Lawyers argue that back in August, Kemp tweeted, I got by the devil himself, and then tweeted, I was literally your hooker. And then finally, in a separate tweet, at Bishop Eddie Long, why? That's all I want to know. Long's attorneys argue that they can recover $300,000 per violation and that there is no cap on the amount of damages they can recoup. According to our sources, attorneys told their three clients the allegations could put future payments at risk, and the lawyers now have a potential conflict of interest. The reason? Because those lawyers could be possible witnesses in the arbitration. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.